Hello, I'm Blizznub, and welcome to Building the Best. Today we're going to be looking at the Myos, the shiny new sword and whip, blade and whip, sorry, stance weapon which has come out and is available currently in the dojo, in the infested labs of course. Now this is the first blade and whip stance, so the first thing I'm going to lead off with is you need defiled snapdragon, it is currently the only stance. Defiled Snapdragon drops from Scorpions, which are a very common Grenier enemy, and if you run lots of Draco, you'll see them a lot. Right now, people are running Draco like crazy with Hydroids and Necrosses, trying to get this mod, so if you get on it, it's actually fairly easy to get. It's a rare, but honestly, on Draco, you get lots of mods. Anyhow, let's dive in. So basically what we have is a relatively high attack speed, and this 1.08 isn't that special compared to other weapons, but with this stance it is quite fast. Now we have a bit of crit, enough in theory for a crit build, but I'm actually not going to do that because if, in my opinion if you can't get the crit chance above 50% it isn't worth doing. But it is fair to say that with a 15% chance, Berserker is very, very viable. No, what we're going to be abusing in this build is the 25% status chance, which is very high for a melee weapon, and this slash damage down here. Now, it does all three kinds of standard damage, but slash is the highest, and frankly, I find slash to be the most useful of the three when it comes to a melee weapon. So, let's dive in. Actually, arguably, Puncture is more useful, but the, there is very few Puncture melees. Anyhow, we start off, of course, with Pressure Point, Spoiled Strike, and Fury to counteract Spoiled Strike's negative attack speed, that giving us a lovely 115 slash damage. We have Primed Reach on here because Defiled Snapdragon, uh, sorry, the Myos, or Mios, this is a whip weapon, which means it has incredible base reach, and primed reach buffs it out fantastically, and thankfully most of the hits this weapon does with its combos are multi-hit, which means primed reach really is, I'd say, necessary on this. Jam a reach on if you don't have primed, but seriously, it is so good with it. Anyhow, like I said, we're going to build status on this. We have all four of the dual stat mods along the top here, giving us this lovely 85% status chance, and in this case, Gas Magnetic, because I was just fighting Corpus. But let's go with Corrosive Blast to test out this weapon. And arguably, Corrosive Blast is slightly better, because I'm going to be going up against Infested in a second, and Blast Damage is insane. Wait a minute. Am I talking nonsense again? What? One second. Infested. Oh, Corrosive and Blast are both good against Infested. Sorry about that. I <laughs> So many people called me out the last time I said Corrosive Blast was good against Forward, because of course it isn't. But against regular Infested, incredibly good. So, let's go try this thing out, because there's really not too much to say about it. It's a sword and a whip. And I believe, actually, that different parts of the combos hit with different parts of the weapons and possibly deal slightly different damage types, but I can't actually confirm that. I, I, I haven't been able to confirm that through testing it, and I've been testing it since it came out. Well, so, since I got it, I say there was a three-day research time. Now, what we have is three base combos with Defiled Snapdragon. We have a blocking combo, a pause combo and a hold S combo, which I love. Now, all of these combos come after the second hit. You do two standard swings, which gives you this lovely ranged attack there, and then depending on what you do next, it changes how the weapon reacts. And there I was doing the standard combo, but I'm going to be using the blocking combo mainly because it has a great, um, I guess, jump? It's not really a jump, you sort of jut forwards attacking with the weapon. It's great for covering ground and clearing crowds. Though arguably the hold S stance is slightly better at crowd clear. You see that insane... It actually is quite hard to see what the whip is doing, and I, I really hope I'm not getting too many frame drops here. Because the whip is all over the place, it really is. And it deals crazy damage. Like say, Corrosive Blast here proving very valuable, simply because, oh god, I love those fusion cores, simply because Blast is so good at dealing with these guys, and I'm going to be honest, 
Every time I get a blast proc on death and you see the body disintegrate into that that orange cloud. That ah, oh, so good. Anyhow, back to the weapon that I'm doing a video on. You see, I haven't even had to iron skin yet. These enemies are simply not a threat to me because I can provide fantastic crowd control with the melee weapon itself, which is delightful. And there's honestly not many melee weapons you can provide reliable crowd control with. Now, I'm going to try and show you the pause stance just before I finish up here, but I promise nothing. Okay, and... There we go. You got a little jump on it. So, of course, as always with the pause stances, they're slightly less useful than the other stance mods in that they appear to be single target damage more than anything else. But at the same time, I suspect when someone finally runs the numbers on it, it will turn out that this will do a lot more damage, the, uh, the pause attack. Although, yeah, again, in my opinion, I just love blocking stances because if you do get hit whilst you're not actually attacking, you're blocking! It's, it's brilliant! <laughs> Passive damage reduction from holding a melee. Now, of course, just before I sh I always forget this, just before I finish up, I should show it's unequipped stance, which is great and includes um, a little lunge forwards, which is lovely, because unequipped stances should, of course, help you cover ground when you use them. Anyhow! That is the my- sorry, I just love playing this weapon and watching the weird ass stances and watching the whip go everywhere. Although it's fair to say, when you don't actually have the weapon equipped, you don't use the whip part. It stays holstered in the weapon's hilt. So anyhow, thank you very much for watching. I'm Blizznob, and this is of course the Myos, which is absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend it. Please like and comment below, and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you.